Today on Ballistic Burgers, I'm going to be resurrecting yet again another Lost Burger. We're going to be doing the Ollie Burger from Lums. Let's get going. Lums was born in Miami, Florida in 1955. And at the time, they were serving up hot dogs that were steamed over beer. Um, in 1971, the restaurant was purchased by the CEO, the former CEO of KFC. and he had fallen in love with these hamburgers that a guy was making in Florida called the Ollie Burger. His name was Oliver. And he ended up purchasing the secret recipe off of Oliver for $1 million, which was a lot of money in the early 70s. It is now, actually, but way more money back in the 70s. Anyway, so the restaurant blew up. There ultimately ended up being 400 locations uh, throughout the East Coast and into the Midwest. Um, in the 80s, they started struggling. Sadly, in 2016, the last lums closed. I, I think it was in Nebraska. So, the restaurant's gone, but the burger's going to live forever. I found a few recipes. I had never been there, but I found some recipes online, and they were all pretty much the same recipe, so which tells me I don't have a whole lot of options. It, it consists of a marinade, which here's the recipe. And then a burger sauce. The burger sauce was basically what all these recipes are calling for is Thousand Island dressing. I made the marinade, marinated these patties last night. And then this morning I found a recipe for the burger sauce and it calls for a little of that marinade to be added into the, into the sauce. So let's get cooking. So for this cook, I'm using the good old 22 inch Weber kettle grill. And I have the Ballistic Mojo griddle on top. As far as charcoal is concerned, I'm just using regular old uh, Kingsford briquettes and I have it banked. So this is the hot zone right here, then it progressively gets cooler as we go this way. So when I'm toasting buns, after I get a toast, I can kind of set them over here just to keep them warm. So as I said in that intro, there's actually a marinade involved in this burger. I've never cooked, or I don't think I've ever had a burger that's been marinated, so it kind of tantalized me a little bit, I guess. And here's what we got going on. Here's that recipe that I posted. And these are three one third pound burger patties. The original Lums, they used, they used lean meat for this. So I'm using 80-20, but they were also using the end trimmings off of tenderloin. So I wanted to make sure that these are nice juicy tender burgers. And that's why I'm going with 80-20 Chuck. You do you though. So I'm gonna hit the hot zone first. Get that nice sear. And it is hot. All right, now what I'm going to do, I, I've got my sear. I'm going to go ahead and drag these over to the slightly cooler spot here. You can hear it sizzling. It's not cool, but it's not as hot, not as intense as it is right there. We're just using regular old seedless hamburger buns. And let's just start the toast right here. And it's pretty cool right here. I just touched it with my hand. Like, you shouldn't do stuff like that, kids. Just to kind of get them warming up. And then I'll take them over to the hot side as soon as I get these moved over. All right, you can see how the cook's starting to come up and around now. I'm going to go ahead and give this burger a flip onto the hot side. We'll get these on the side here. Now for the cheese, we're going with sliced mozzarella cheese. Now Ollie said, apparently he worked very hard developing this burger, this million dollar recipe. And he tried all the cheeses. He tried American, he didn't like it on this burger. 
He tried Greer and he, I guess it was too chewy. He ultimately landed on mozzarella because of the texture and, and how it melted. So you got to stick with mozzarella if you want to make an Ollie burger. All right. Let's go ahead and build this Ollie burger. Like I said, we're going with Thousand Island. And they call it a bun sauce, so I'm putting it on the bun. <laughs> First patty down. Number two. Number three. <laughs> and they went simple. Crowned. 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 I give you the Ollie Burger. I'm currently at my sister and brother-in-law's house up in uh, Northern California. So thank you, John. You can say something. You're welcome. <laughs> and John's actually operating this handheld camera. I'm excited about that because normally I'm using, I'm a one person show running, you know, multiple cameras all by myself. So my sister's eating a burger right now. I'm hungry. John's, you want, you want yours now or you want to just, well, I'll wait. You, you go first, you, you're the chef. Okay. So there we are. Oh, oh yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Let me set this down here. It looks good. I mean, it's nice and simple. And I saw a videos where some uh, uh, someone was putting lettuce and tomatoes and everything. Uh, they may have served that as a option, but this is how they traditionally served it with just the bun, cheese, and sauce. Cheers. Hmm. My sister's over there giving a thumbs up. <laughs> Very good. Wow. It's simple, but it has flavors that, you know, that I don't get from a normal burger, from that marinade. Um, it's funny, one of their ingredients in the marinade, as you guys saw, was Heinz 57, and I'm picking that up. The Heinz, and there's A1, it, all sorts of stuff in there. Mm. Juicy as all get out. <laughs> I'm calling this a success. Um, the only thing I'm a little bummed about is I would have liked to have made a the bun sauce recipe, but you can't go wrong with Thousand Island. I mean, in my opinion, it's just such a great burger sauce. So this is John, my brother-in-law, all six foot four of him with the voice of an angel. And uh, I really wanted John to be in this video because he's done so much for me. So John, let's give us a taste test. See, he's been driving me crazy making this burger and I had to keep my mouth shut because he, as soon as he threw that on there, the aromas came off and I said, I gotta have this. And he's doing the taste test and I'm filming, but now it's my turn. Well. <laughs> Oh yeah. It's good. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, one has to ask if the original owners, the Pearson brothers, would have kept that restaurant, mm. would they still be around? <laughs> that is good. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Well, thanks again, John. Cheers, man. <laughs> A lot of fun. Anyway, thank you guys for stopping by. This was a viewer suggestion, by the way, so thank you for that. Keep the suggestions coming in. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you ring the notification bell and thumb it up if you liked it. See you on the next video. Cheers.